Hello crochet friends. I want you to know today we're going to make this wonderful uh, stitch. It's going to be a face cloth. It's 100% cotton. It can be a face cloth, dish towel, whatever you'd like. I have one here in jute and white, but I'm going to use for tutorial purposes, I'm going to use a different color today. So let's get started. I'm using an F crochet hook, a plastic needle, and 100% cotton yarn by Lily, Lily Sugars, Sugar and Cream, and it's 100% cotton. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is chain 23. And when you're chaining, I want you to make sure that your chains are not very tight. They need to be nice and loose fitting because we're gonna, and I'll show you why after, but make sure when you're going through and you're chaining that you're leaving some wiggle room here. So if you wanna pause me, I've already gone ahead of you and I've chained 23. So I want you to go ahead and chain 23 and the 23rd one will be right on your F crochet hook, okay? And when you've done that, come back and see me. Now I'm gonna switch colors on you. You're gonna be on the same color, but I wanted to um, show you afterwards, this is what your first, first uh, chain is gonna look like. But I'm gonna go ahead and after you've chained 23, you should be like this. And what you're gonna do is in your, you're gonna skip one and go to the third one, the third one from the one that your chain is in. So, and you're going to do a double crochet. If you don't know how to do a double crochet, I've got a video on it, but you need to learn how to do a double crochet. So you're gonna, wrap it around, pull it through, pull it through again, and you've got three on your hook, wrap it around, go through the first two, and go through the second two. That is a double crochet. We're gonna do it again, and when we do it again, we're gonna do it in the same stitch. So wrap it around, go through the same stitch, pull it through, you've got three on your hook, one, two, three. You're gonna wrap it around again, go through the first two and then the second two. Okay, so now you're gonna chain one and then you're gonna skip one of these little chains right here. So as you chain one, skip the chain below and then you're gonna do two half double crochets in the next one. So wrap it around Make sure you're skipping that chain, pulling it through. You've got three on your hook. Wrap it around, pull it through. Another half double crochet. So you can see this is starting to shape up. That's why I kind of showed you how this, this looks. So you've got two there. Do a single chain skip the chain below, skip the chain below again, and then another half double crochet. And then another half double crochet in the same chain. Chain one, skip the chain below, another half double crochet in the, in the next one after you've skipped that one and then another half double crochet. So I hope you can see in chain one. So as you go through, you're going to chain one, skip the chain below, two half double crochet. Chain one, skip the chain below, two half double crochet in the same one. Chain one, skip the chain below, and then two half double crochet. And you're gonna do that all the way across your work. So go ahead and pause me and come back. Now, I don't wanna confuse you. You're gonna be on the same color, but I've just got this one already done. And I want for I don't want the video to be crazy long, so I'm trying to just show you for tutorial purposes. So I've gone across one. At the end of your 
row, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, kind of eleven groups of two double, um, half double crochet, double crochet, I should say. <clears throat> when you get to the end, you're going to have to chain two, and you have a tail. And I've kind of worked my tail back in, but I grab my tail and I chain one, and then I chain two with my tail. And that way I can just cut it off afterwards and I don't have to try to work it back in with my plastic needle. But no worries, if you haven't worked it in, you can work it back in with this plastic needle afterwards. So don't get hung up on that. So after you've chained, now this is kind of the tricky part right here. You want to do two half double crochets, but you want to do two half double crochets in the half double crochet. So you're not doing it on the top of the, the, the links here. You're going through the two. I'm sorry, I'm calling it a half double. It's a double, you know, double crochet. So you're going to go in between that. So let me show you again. You're going to go in between. So let's see if I can get this up really close. You're going to do a half double crochet and you're going to go in between the two double double crochets that you just did. This is a double because you're doing one and two and I keep calling it a half double and I apologize. So what are we going to do again? We're going to chain one and you're going to not the, the the obvious thing is, oh, I see that big space. I want to go through that. Do not do that. Do not do that, folks. You want to do your double crochet through the middle of your double crochets. And that's how you get this beautiful stitch right here. So you want to make sure, go through the middle of the double crochet. Do one. Do two. It might look weird right now, but trust me. It's going to work out fine. Chain one and make sure you go through your half, not through all this wonderful space. Uh, uh, uh. No, 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 that's wrong. See that right in there. So do your half, your double crochet in the middle of your two double crochets and you're doing two of them just like you did on the bottom. See how that's looking? Chain one, double crochet. And where are you putting it? In between these two half double crochets. I mean, double crochets. I know I'm screwing up. I probably should just start the video again and forget about it. But forget about it doesn't mean forget about it today. All right. Chain one, wrap it around and go through your double crochets and do two double crochets. Chain one. Wrap it around and go through. Now when you're going through, you're going under that loop right there. You're not going through the top loops. You know, you're so used to working through the, the loops on the top. You're working through the middle of the double crochets, the middle, chaining one every single time, going through the middle, doing your double crochets, two double crochets in the middle of your bottom double crochet. Chain one, go through the double crochet, doing a double crochet and a double crochet. It's always going to be two double crochets. Chain one, go through double crochet, a double crochet, chain one, go through the double crochet, double crochet, chain one. Now when you get to the end here, you'll see there's your double crochet, go through the last one. And you're gonna say, well, oh gosh, it has a little bump there. It's supposed to, I'll show you what I'm talking about. See, that's gonna give it like a nice edge all the way across. So what you're gonna do now, 
is as you always turn, you're always going to chain two. It's just the way it is, folks. Chain two every single time you turn your work. Now, you're not going to go through this one, and you're not going to go through this one. It looks funny, but you're going to go through the first one again. Make sure you're going, even though you've chained two, and you think it looks weird, maybe you're going to make sure you go through the first two double crochet. So you're going to do a double crochet and another double crochet say, in the same place. And what's that going to do is as you start to grow your work, you're going to get this nice edging right here. And yes, you have an extra little fluffy, I call it as kind of a scallop edge right there, but that's what gives it interest and appeal. So I like to do that chain two right there. So for the rest of the time, it's always going to be chain one again, and you're going to go double crochet through your double crochet. Double crochet, two double crochets. It's starting to look really nice, folks. And you can see why I wanted you to leave the bottom loose. And the reason I, that for that is because if you do too tight a chain at the bottom, your work is not, it's going to be so tight at the bottom, it's going to squeeze it tight. And you want this to be a nice 100% cotton, you know, face cloth or face towel, and you don't want to squeeze it tight. So you're going to do another chain one, double crochet, double crochet, chain one. Make sure you're working through the double crochet below, not the space between the double crochets. And you know what? It's okay to make a mistake. You make a mistake, you can go back. You can take it out. And that's the lovely, beautiful thing about crocheting. The thing about cotton too is it's not always forgiving. So you have to be careful when you're stitching that you're picking up all of the threads in the cotton because sometimes they get left behind. And if you make a mistake and that happens, just go back and fix it. It's not a race. It's not like a test. It's creative. So. so hopefully you're getting this. If you're not and you just want to buy one, you can go to my page on Etsy, which is Lori's Handiwork, and you can just buy one of these and then you don't have to do this if you don't feel like it. Okay, so when you get to the end, you've got this nice you can see it's starting to really take form now. And I would say, depending on how big, if you want a nine by nine, this is gonna be, you know, probably um, a nine. I'd like to do a nine by nine. You can do as many rows as you want. I usually do at least 15 to 23, depending on what I'm making. But you're gonna go through. This is gonna be the same pattern all the way through. You're gonna tie it off. And if you want, I go through and I reinforce all my edges so that if I'm using it in the kitchen or something like that, I'm it's reinforced. So that is really it for today. And you can see a finished one. Looks really beautiful. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that stitch. Thank you so much for joining me. And please visit me on Etsy at Lori's Handiwork. Thank you.